All right, ladies and gentle steppers, welcome to the last report for season six, where we break down what occurred. Uh, we cover the top 25 guilds, breaking uh, broken out into five different tiers. This dashboard right in front of you, just like Pison said, has been built by Yomu, co-developer of Idle MMO, game co game admin question mark uh, of Simple <laughs> MMO, uh, and all around amazing individual. He has their own mobile simulator for Simple Mo on the desktop. Go check it out. You can support him there with through his Patreon. Amazing individual, at the very least. Give him a wave. So you love him, and Couch Cat appreciates him. All right. Without further ado, let's get into the first tier after I fix it. Because I've refreshed. I'll refresh right now because that oh absolutely gosh. matters. Uh, I need to refresh too, then, because I want to be able to look at the same thing. It, it doesn't matter because the season's already over. Oh, yeah. That right. was a joke. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, what? Uh, I just lost. Okay, there we go. Uh, I just lost my entire screens for a second. All right. I'm still good. <laughs> I'm here. My, my, like, my, the, the entire room, the lights flickered. My screens went black. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're almost done. Chat. We can make it. We can Chat. make it. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, Severs, this is a celestial tier. Uh, first through fifth place positions for season six. Sanctuary out on top. Five mil over TSL. Uh, they've done it. They've met their goal. They are first place for season six. Second place is the Spooky Legion or the Scarlet Legion. <laughs> uh, third is Factory Reset. Fourth is the Forest. And fifth is Dead Poet Society, the number one PvE guild out there. Good job to all five guilds for being top five this season. That's awesome work. A lot of grinding. Yeah, it's an insane amount of EXP here on the top. But this is your celestial tier for season six. You, it'll be recorded in game. It already has been. And they'll get five diamonds for their efforts. But uh, yeah, congrats. Remember this for when we do the end of the year, um, the annual SGL roundup. Uh, so yeah remember who won like i do think cool skills. it would have been interesting if tsl did not go pve the last week of the season they may yeah. have held on to first place yeah i think i think just the mindset they had maintained first throughout the whole season you know they've already been number one you yeah know, back when Babel was up yeah uh which you know i would say was a, a bigger feat than sanctuary um uh, back in those days that era was a tough era um because Babel was a consistent monster right yeah so they've done it they've proven it and i think they chose you know the the, the mental state of their players their warriors specifically um and they're like you know what sanctuary wants it they've already blasted this far they're gonna get it there they are but otherwise yeah congrats to everyone here Especially FR, uh, there's a lot of a lot of things have happened in FR this past season, and they're still here. They're still in Celestial. They have just they have never. I just want to say they have never left Celestial tier since entering it. So that is a huge feat on itself. I wish that was like an award somewhere in game. Uh, but yeah, they're just amazing. The Force they woke up, and now uh, we have heavy hitters in the Force. So I wonder if that changes anything, or if it's a temporary home. Uh, I know like Darren is in there and Chaotic and you know just a bunch of uh, top tier players from Sanctuary and then DPS best PV again so congrats to them I'm always in their discord trying to take over that guild I always ask uh, Keeper Amphorite if I'm the leader yet uh, it hasn't happened but we'll see we'll see but yeah that's Celestial yeah I was really impressive to watch Sanctuary come out middle season and, and climb like that so good yeah, job on everyone cards a lot of credit cards there, brother. Uh, on to the legendary tier here. Uh, sixth through tenth place positions. We have Wolfblood in sixth place, friendly in seventh, uh, still friendly two in eighth. Prostor moving up one position to take that ninth place, just barely. And then Fear the Unknown uh, going down to that tenth place position. Mm -hmm. Good job to everyone here. Really close between six and seven, and really close between nine and eight. Uh, awesome, awesome work. And the friendly yeah. family just hanging out in the middle. Just, just hanging out, dude. Uh, super proud of Wolfblood, Wolf Blood, Wolf Wolf, uh, to all my homies. I mean, it was they were heavy on my back, but we did it. Top tier legendary. So congrats to everyone in Wolf Blood, especially myself. 
uh, and Dagon, but mainly myself. Uh, friendly and friendly too, whichever these ones are. They've, they've been here the whole season. I think that's just a staple at this point. Um, and Prostor, Prostor, I mean, they were almost kicked out of Legendary tier, but they've been so stable. Uh, I had no worries for them. And here they are at number nine. And then the Unknown gained a little rebrand with Fear the Unknown, uh, and dropping to number 10, but fairly new guild, super new guild. And, uh, you know, it was sad that you had to do it. it. Uh, you know, rest of the And... They Your mic. This is frustrating. Um. Anyways, uh, I will say one thing. I need to get you here. All right, you're good to go. But I will say this. Um, it is interesting to see that Wolf Blood, because you you only do PVE, right, for Wolf Blood? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, check out the WGS. You guys suck. Uh, let's move on to to uh, the next tier. I just wanted to say that. What do you mean you guys suck? What does that mean? I, I clearly you haven't seen the uh, uh, epic tier. LTS is the the. Ugh. His audio still shit. I'll delete you one more time. Um, no, all good. Oh well. Uh, one more t deletion just for shits and giggles here. Um. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, Epic Tiers 11 through 15 place positions. We have Frontier in 11th, DGK in 12th, Gladiators moving up one position uh, in 13th, which means Happy Birthday Shadow uh, <laughs> is moving down one position. <laughs> and then Golden Arrow is showing really good life here and getting that 15th place spot, which they were a late starter as well. So good job to them. Uh, awesome job to everyone here. And uh, yeah, Happy Birthday Shadow, I guess. Yeah, Epic Tier looks good here. Uh, Frontier, new guild, run by Kiwi. Uh, for your first run, this is an excellent place to be for your first season. Well, big boy season. DGK, uh, I had my doubts, but Demo, you know, he ran a tight ship, and they're here. They're an Epic. Good for them. Gladiators, um, they rebranded from the Italia because they are they weren't really Italian, but now they're Gladiators, and rumor is they're not actually Gladiators either. So I wonder what their new name will be for next season. Uh, Shadow Garden, dude, they're cooked. I don't, <laughs> they're cooked. And Golden Arrows, like you said, congrats to them. Uh, Dosa really pulled it around with Audrey's support. And I, Ace has been waving at me recently. I don't know if that means anything, but they've really turned a new leaf. Wait, um, who is Shadow Garden's new academy guild now? Do you remember? Why does Shadow Garden have an academy? That was the whole announcement. Shadow, you're here. You could tell us in the in the comments, but they. Now Why would have you do that to yourself, dude? Um, Why would you do that? Yeah, that's who it was. Oh, Mitsugoshi. Yeah. Oh, never mind. He gave up on that. That was fast. Fast lived. All yeah. right. He he's like a zoomer, dude. Don't ever like, don't ever trust this man. <laughs> All right, let's move on to elite tier here. Also, by the way, the exp Rare here tier? was super close. No elite tier. Where am I? I don't know where you're oh, okay. at. Where am I? Uh, elite tier. I mean, I could give out your address right now if you'd like. Um, 16th place, Murderers of the Universe. 17th place, Asgard moving down two positions. 18th place, moving up two positions, Slums Guild. 19th, moving down one because of that is Resolve. The nice to say ye showing a little bit more life at the very end here, moving up one position to take the last place in elite tier. All very close in EXP. Epic and Elite are super close in EXP um yeah so that, that was pretty cool to see but yeah that's this this is the lowest i've seen murder of the universe uh this is the lowest i've seen asgard i'm surprised that slums is here and i'm surprised he did something but resolve hanging 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 loose <laughs> they've been in late this whole time uh yeah and now and now rare tier Dude, keeping with the the fire comments. I, I know. Having I know. an academy guild is so 2020. Ain't that the truth? And remember when we, E was number one LMAO. Sad Dude, times. Academy Academy guilds in Simple Mill is like the MySpace or like Hot Topic era. Yeah. Of, yeah. Of the 2000s. That's like spot it's on. like it's it feels so far away when every guild had like freaking a at every least academy. one. At least one academy. Yeah, at least one. Yeah. Even freaking Fallen Angels, you know? Yep. So. All right. Last tier here, rare tier. 21 through 25. Helheim pushing out one more position in the 21st, which means Heaven and Hell fell really, really far. 
uh, in the 22nd. Zelda yeah. Zenith Kitties holding on to 23, Black Dragon in 24, and Eternal Flame taking the last position, gatekeeping everyone else out of the top 25. Yeah, I mean, congrats to Welski, uh, that little turd. He finally did it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I again, I'm really shocked Heaven and Hell dropped like a freaking rock. Like, I, uh, they showed signs of life, Dark quit, and then it was just like, burp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dark was a huge part of them. Yeah, but then uh, the rivalry, so or the rivalry, excuse me, between Helheim and Black Dragon, the gap has closed. So I wonder how that's going to continue moving forward. But that's the top 25. That is season six. So again, congrats to everyone who held their position. Uh, and if you just got bumped out the last second, that's, you know, sad to see. Sucks um, to suck. Yeah, tier two. I mean, this is just a re this is the final recap of season six. So tier two is not really in play right now but here's just a quick snapshot we have guilds moving up and down it's christmas here already <laughs> um and yeah things are things are changing up cult isn't the powerhouse as uh they would have you believe uh but yeah we'll see what happens with the uh new season i know we're gonna be seven days behind um we're already watching it now and people are dropping screenshots of things like just being wild about uh, the it's always wild the first like hour of the new season sure that concludes the sgl thank you so much for watching it and to all the folks here leaving comments and giving us updates thank you and for all those on Vod squad we really appreciate your support and continuing to watch our videos in the sgl it's a lot of fun that's another season down and another season to go